Ribs at home can be hard. Do you smoke them? Do you grill them? Do you bake them? Uh, no, you do them in a slow cooker. A slow cooker makes ribs extremely easy. Brown them in a skillet, throw them in the slow cooker, and then put together your favorite quick barbecue sauce. Some vinegar, molasses, ketchup, some spices. It's the perfect balance of sweet and tangy. Pour it over the top of these ribs, baked all day in a slow cooker. They are gonna be fall apart and ready to go. Who knew ribs could be so easy? All that coming up on today's Wise Guide. Who doesn't love ribs? And you know what? These ribs being made in a slow cooker make it perfect for a big crowd because you can throw them all in there, have them cooking for hours. That way when everyone comes over, you're done with all the work and there are delicious ribs to be had. First, you just wanna brown up some ribs. I like to cut mine into smaller pieces, kind of individual size serving pieces, whatever works for you, just in between the bone cut down. Once they're all cut, just put some oil in a preheated skillet Make sure it shimmers slightly so you know it's warm, and then brown the ribs. You're just browning them now because they are not gonna brown on a grill or in a broiler. They're gonna cook all day in a slow cooker. So you just wanna give them a little bit of color. Turn them over, make sure to brown both sides. And as we've all been told, if they cling to the bottom of the pan, they are not ready to turn over. So wait till they release, and then you know they're well browned. Sometimes I get impatient and just kind of force them to turn, but. Don't tell anyone. Once they're brown on both sides, just pull them off with a tongs, guys. These are hot, so seriously, not everyone has asbestos hands like me. So just pull them off with the tongs, put them onto a clean pan, and set them aside. To make the really simple barbecue sauce in a large measuring cup, just have some cider vinegar, white vinegar, some molasses, you need that rich, sweet flavor. Worcestershire sauce. I will never say that right, so let's not even argue about it. Worcestershire, no, I think it is Worcestershire. Ketchup. Garlic cloves. I just like to press them through a garlic press because you know what? It's easy and then they're minced. I love it. Some ground mustard. Paprika salt, and pepper. Just stir that together a little bit, add just a stitch of liquid smoke. Now some people are really like, liquid smoke, that's cheating. Yeah, it is cheating in a good way. No one's gonna care if you get caught doing this. This really adds a great smoky flavor and it makes people think that these were smoked. Seriously, what could be better? But you really only need a little bit. If you go too far, believe me, you can't go back from that. Stir that in and then add some brown sugar. Every barbecue sauce needs to be balanced out with some brown sugar. This one's the perfect tangy, sweet deliciousness that you want, believe me. Once that is stirred together, just put the ribs right into your slow cooker. Pour over the sauce and uh, you're ready to go. I know, it seems too easy. You're thinking, no, these aren't gonna be good. No, this isn't enough. No, believe me, it's all the above and more. This will answer all your rib dreams, I promise. Put the lid on, put it on low for at least six hours, and guys, seriously, these ribs are gonna be doing a dance. Well, you're gonna be doing a dance when you eat them. Seriously. Whether you're having a crowd, a big game party, these are what you wanna go for. And if you wanna make more of a meal, serve them with a baked potato because who's gonna complain about a baked potato and ribs? If you agree, you know what to do. Click like, share, subscribe. I love to hear from ya. Thanks for watching The Wise Guide.